Rationing is the controlled distribution of scarce resources, goods, or services, or an artificial restriction of demand. Rationing controls the size of the ration, which is what is allowed portion of the resources being distributed on a particular day or at a particular time. Rationing is often done to keep price below the equilibrium market clearing price determined by the process of supply and demand in an unfettered market. Thus. Rationing can be complementary to price controls. An example of rationing in the face of rising prices took place in the various countries where there was rationing of gasoline during the 1973 energy crisis. A reason for setting the price lower than would clear the market may be that there is a shortage, which would drive the market price very high. High prices, especially in the case of necessities, are undesirable with regard to those who cannot afford them. Traditionalist economists argue, however, that high prices act to reduce waste of the scarce resource while also providing incentive to produce more. 
Rationing using ration stamps is only one kind of non-price rationing. For example, scarce products can be rationed using queues. This is seen, for example, at amusement parks, where one pays a price to get in and then need not pay any price to go on the rides. Similarly, in the absence of road pricing, access to roads is rationed in a first-come, first-served queuing process, leading to congestion. Authorities which introduce rationing often have to deal with the ration goods being sold illegally on the black market. Rationing has been instituted during wartime for civilians. For example, each person may be given ration coupons, allowing him or her to purchase a certain amount of a product each month. Rationing often includes food and other necessities for which there is a shortage, including materials needed for the war effort such as rubber tires, leather shoes, clothing and fuel. Rationing of food and water may also become necessary during an emergency, such as a natural disaster or terror attack. In the U.S., the Federal Emergency Management Agency FEMA, has established guidelines for civilians on rationing food and water supplies when replacements are not available. According to FEMA standards, Every person should have a minimum of 1 U.S. quart 0.95 L per day of water, and more for children, nursing mothers and the ill. Civilian peacetime rationing of food has also occurred in history, especially after natural disasters, during contingencies, or after failed governmental economic policies regarding production or distribution, the latter happening especially in highly centralized planned economies. In the United Kingdom, the rationing system remained in place for many years after the end of the war. In some respects it was more strict after the war than during it, two major foodstuffs that were never rationed during the war, bread and potatoes, went on ration after it, bread from 1946 to 1948, and potatoes for a time from 1947. Tea was still on ration until 1952. In 1953 rationing of sugar and eggs ended, and in 1954, oh rationing finally ended when cheese and meats came off ration. Sugar was again rationed in 1974 after Caribbean producers began selling to the more lucrative United States market. Many centralized planned economies introduced a peacetime rationing system due to food shortages in the post-war period. North Korea and China did so in the 1970s and 1980s, communist Romania during the 1980s the Soviet Union in 1990-1991, and Cuba today. A good example of this system was Poland. In the immediate post-war period, rationing was in place until 1948. Shortages of food products were common in Poland at that time, but food rations also served another purpose. Cards were unevenly distributed by the communist authorities, leading at Arnex, known in Poland as Perzo Downisi Prasi were entitled to as much as 3,700 calories daily, while some white-collar workers received as little as 600 calories a day. Rationing covered more than food products. From April 1952 to January 1953 and from August 1976 to November 1985 ration stamps were introduced for shoes, cigarettes, sugar, sweets, liquor, soap, baby diapers, tires, and cars. From 1949 to 1959, Israel was under a regime of austerity, during which a state of rationing was enforced. At first, only staple foods such as oil, sugar, and margarine were rationed, but it was later expanded, and eventually included furniture and footwear. Every month, each citizen would get food coupons worth six Israeli pounds, and every family would be allotted a given amount of food. The average Israeli diet was 2,800 calories a day, with additional calories for children, the elderly, and pregnant women. Following the 1952 reparations agreement with West Germany, and the subsequent influx of foreign capital, Israel's struggling economy was bolstered, and in 1953, most restrictions were cancelled. In 1958, the list of rationed goods was narrowed to just 11, and in 1959, it was narrowed to only jam, sugar, and coffee. 
petroleum products were rationed in many countries following the 1973 oil crisis.